Hello there, everyone, and thank you for joining me here to start a new campaign in Tiano, the last of the year, in which we're using a sub mod called The New Order. The East is red. Now, I've played this sub mod before, but at the time I was recording, there's been more content uh, added to the sub mod, and just more things in general. We've got a lot of GUIs to work with, a lot of ideas to work with, and we have no focus to start with either. But that's all right. We're led by good old Mao 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 for now. Um, we have Mao Zedong. Also, we're, we started a war against the People of Salvation Army against, uh, who? Ma Zhu Ji Yan. Broken United Front. Uh, the Blessings of Allah. Save the country, secure the people. The uh, Two Ma Struggle. Feed on Illusions. And Patrick are rebelling for them. They have no focuses. Uh, conscription, military policies, economic policies, social policies. 93% poverty, well... It doesn't surprise me in China in 1962 in TNO, so. Oh, we got Zhu and Lai, we'll read about him maybe a little later. Bogu, we've got Chen Yun, and Liu Ruikin. And we have a lot of this that we'll talk about later. But let's start off with the war, maybe? Oh, we don't have any focuses to do either right now, either. Because we're stuck. Son of Mongolian front United. Huh. In the meantime, so we have 30 political power, we barely get any, literally none today. We have no stability. We have a lot of, uh, no war support. We have the National Congress of the C. PC. And so we have Mao here. He's kind of chunky. Mao's faction. He likes the local planned economy. We've got Liu's faction, which is, makes up 40% of the National Congress of the CPC, and they like reform the Soviet economy. Um, and we've got the Soviet Union faction, Orthodox Orthodox Soviet economy. And then we've got Deng's faction, which I think I'm going to go and try to get as much of Deng's uh, uh, faction up as high as possible. Because last time I did this, I played only as Mao. I want to see what we can do with Dang. So to do this, select this option will implement the policies of this faction, expand the influence within the CPC of this faction, and influence the status of party affairs. Every month, you can only select one faction to interact, and it costs 0.5 party budget, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Option will be disabled when the influence of one faction is less than 3%. We do this, we lose that political power, we get more stability war support, get more construction speed growth, less cap, and less production efficiency growth and retention. We could praise them, which will encourage to implement the policies of this faction, expand the influence of the C within the CPC of this faction. Um, so you lose political power, get half as much stability. Basically, you get half of what we get here. Because right now we lose 0 0.01. We would uh, lose political power with this one. You could punish um, this faction. Instead, you actually get political power. You lose growth and construction speed, but you get more weekly stability for a certain number of days, which I'm not sure. Honestly, that's probably worth it. To, but not punish this faction. Criticized by name. It will instruct to implement the policies of the faction and undermine the influence within the CPC of this faction. Get political power. You lose construction speed and growth. So, um, I might say, lose faction? We're going to punish? I don't lose that much political power. Oh. Oh, God. That looks really bad. Oh, daily political power gain. Weekly stability goes down. Weekly war support goes down. Construction speed. Discipline? Criticize them. I'll get nothing but negatives here. Praise them. Hmm. Oh, this one. You lose cap, growth, and retention. You actually get more growth speed. Because this is Lee's faction. It's only 9%. I still want that weekly stability. It's not very much. You get more political power, which I do like. You lose construction speed, which is not too bad. Critic Ooh, but this one here, you can criticize. Um, and about Mal's faction. You actually get a lot of political power. Interesting. Praise. I don't want to praise him right now. So maybe with Lee's faction, we'll punish him. Or, uh, Lee's for now. Of course, we can also praise them. But I don't lose any more political power. So, that's important to me. Alright, we punched him. Cool. Okay, so now we have a party budget. So, up here, there's a National uh, Congress of the CPC of the Communist Party of China established on the basis of Bukharin's theory of democratic centralism, prohibits open factional activities. But, party members will also always differentiate between each other on the basis of differences of opinion, philosophy of governance, and even job affiliation. Under strong rule, the factional divisions happen as naturally as hens lay eggs. Due to differences and the understanding of historical issues, two major mainstream factions are formed within the Chinese Communist Party. One led by Mao Zedong and another by Liu Xiaoqi, which have a different, direct influence on the current revolutionary path. Despite the fact that the party has developed various factions for many reasons, still maintains a normal uh, political atmosphere of general unity and seeks common ground while reserving differences. And its policy of governance and administration is still strictly based 
on the theory of democratic centralism and does not easily engage in overly drastic and heavily handed campaigns of political struggle that can influence each the factional structure and policy implementation through different maneuvers in order to decide to keep the leadership faction and change it as a party congress. As the sun rises and sets and the moon waxes and wanes, the influence on the internal party politics is constrained by the size of the factions. The larger the faction, the harder it is to enhance, while the smaller the faction, the harder it is to weaken. Makes sense. But now we have a party budget. At the beginning of each year, our party will allocate the corresponding share from the financial system maintain the normal operation of the party based on the party budget decided in the previous year and the balance of the party budget of the previous year will return to the state's treasurer for use as a reserve. If the party budget for the following year is not revised during the year, the share of the party budget allocation will remain unchanged. Every month, a certain amount will be deducted from the party budget. It will be 50% of the number of party members, as is the necessary expenses for daily party affairs. Besides, the party budget can be used in operation and enter the party to modify the faction ratio at the end of each year. The party's work will be evaluated based on the balance of funds. If the balance of the party's funds accounts for uh, 10 to 50 percent of the current year's budget, the party will be judged to be healthy this year and be given a buff in the following year. Outside of this range, there will be a random gain debuff. You can inspect National Idea Arts of Policy to check it. If you want to inspect the number of number detail of number of party member, please click the button switch graph. So we're here is the party budget, which is actually spending a lot of the party budget, and then there's the party members, so roughly 1.2 million. So. Uh, this is more difficult to see. 12.03.18k. It's easier to just say 1.2 million. So with this in mind, we've just spent a sum, and I'm going to be using at least half a million every single time. So half a million, that's six. We might be there. 50% uh, determined. Um, I'm going to go with... I don't know how much part budget do we need. Six million. So we do this 12 times in total. Six million dollars will be spent. Six million from that is half. To get down to five million ish, that's about half. So let's go with that. We'll determine it for the year. Uh, so that's this page. We have a Southwest Bureau now too, and let's talk about this. We have operational policies of the Southwest Bureau. In the upper right section of the interface is the Southwest Bureau's distinct local focus. It allows an operational policy for these four areas of focus: Jikang, Sichuan, Chongqing, or Daxian. Uh, different operational policies could also unlock different corresponding national focus branches for the Southwest Bureau. So we have the City Mining Development Overview as well. In the upper left section, left side of the interface, you can switch between the map modes, the mining map mode or the city's map mode. So here's, I guess, this is the mine, silver mine. And here is the uh, pl platinum nickel mine. Uh, in these different modes, areas around Sichuan and Zhikang, Shikang will have different major locations and can be viewed, each area having its corresponding development level and militarization level, as well as a corresponding production mode that can be swapped too. So, we have this guy, uh, Li Fuchun, is a native of Changsha, Hunan province, currently serves as the first secretary of the Southwest Bureau of the CPC. The Southwest Bureau is a local bureaucracy or bureau agency of the CPC station in Shikang, which is mainly responsible for unifying the war against the old KMT warlords in Chongkang and directing the development of Sichuan and Shikang's industry and agriculture, among the other tasks. This guy means the work focuses the Southwest Bureau on Civil Affairs. A proper focus on the Civil Affairs will help industrial and agricultural production in the Southwest and enhance economic strength of the National Defense Front. And versus this guy, Han Jianchu. is a native of Huang'an, Hubei. is currently a commander of the Southwest Corps of the PLA, which is currently stationed in the area of Sichuan and Jikang, and has the important duty of being responsible for the security of the South Southern defenses of the Front. He means the work focus of the Southwest Bureau on military affairs. A proper focus on the military affairs that would help Southwest resist the Southwest resists harassment by the ROC and its puppets and enhances the military strength of the National Defense Run. And quotations or quotes of from Chairman Mao. Hard work, depend on ourselves. Ten years later, liberate the motherland. So we need so the Southwest Bureau focuses on Xikang. This one does focus more on the civilian affairs. That's one it needs more than twenty. Need Southwest Bureau control of this region. Which Oh is this? And this is says focus on Dajian. Xikang. It's hard to tell because I don't know. This doesn't have names. This is Zhikang, South Zhikang. I assume this is North Zhikang. I'm probably saying this all wrong, too. <laughs> um, this one says focus on military affairs. So up here, we'll talk about this in a little bit. And then we'll focus on Chongqing. South Zhikang administrative zone. So really, only we can focus on this area. So up here is. So the focus of the Southwest Bureau depends on the development index and military index and some special effects. You can check the. Detail of work focus of Southwest Bureau by National Ideal on the panel. So right now, of South is Jikang is 25% development developed. Now selecting the South Jikang admin region, town map mode. Well, there's not much we can do here. And where military index is 
Right now, this is a military production model. Gains 0.5 development index each month. Gains 2.5% military index each month. Each city will bring uh, production units and industrial expertise to the front on a monthly basis depending on the development zone or index. All currently controlled cities uh, will have different gains based on the military index. See the National Deal, PLA, Southwest Corps for details. Versus gain 3% development index each month. Each city based uh, will generate gains such as GDP growth, levels of societal development and healthcare, consumer goods, output, and more. For uh, details, please check the National Deal of the Communist Party of China, Southwest Bureau. Uh, all currently controlled cities will have different gains based on the military index. And then we have this. The development index of the South Gekong admin zones is 25%. So we can see, the, uh, I guess, this says GDP trend. Development index, 6.9%. Going up and down, up and down, up and down. Military index yeah, is not very much. So I'm not sure to see the other regions here. I have no clue. I will learn more as we go on. I, don't, I will probably want to focus more on the civilian side of things first. So, um, yeah, we'll see about that, um, about all that stuff, so, huh. so this changes every time you see this, so this is the mining mode, what is this, focus on trading, apart from the South Gekong South Administrative Region, this is the mining site, uh, mining sites adopt the strategy will yield gains in the GDP growth rate, consumer goods output, and resource extraction rate, and more based on their local development index, as in detailed in the National Idea CPC Southwest Bureau. Versus focus on extraction. You get both of this. Um, so mining sites that adopt the strategy will gain you'll gains in industrial expertise, resource extraction, and more based on the local development index. I like more growth for now. Growth, growth, growth. We're very early on. I want growth, 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 growth. Um, mm, so, military production models. Does this cost us anything? Oh, it doesn't. Cool. Honestly, I, I like the military index, but I kind of want more growth anyway, so. The admin zone, mining zone, so. It's all about growth right now. And major. Oh, so here we go. So there's another GUI that we have. So current proposal: deal with the rebellion of the Ma Clique. Uh, Deng Xiaoping, Ma Clique has hit the reactionary slogan of equalizing the land and liberating the peasants. Uh, this was an uproar. Deng Xiaoping continued, fronted his counter-revolutionary coup, told the proletariat big lies, and committed appalling atrocities against people of the liberated areas. Because of this facts, from the facts that not a single promise has been made by the Clique has been fulfilled, nor can it ever be. The people of our free China should shine their eyes and fully realize that the reactionary nature of the cliques led by Mao's army, their landlords and big buyers and big bourgeoisie. Free China has reached a critical situation of life and death. We should unite under the matter of Mao's thought. Fight the reaction cliques to the end and repel the rampant attacks of the counter-revolutionary forces and defend the revolutionary regime. Long live Chairman Mao. Hurrah, hurrah, hurrah. Immediate repressive action. After passing this act, we will lock the national focus to deal with the rebellion of Mao clique. Ah, uh, sure. Ah, so here we go. I remember this somewhat. The premier is Zhu Enlai. Extend days for voting. Oh, he's got health and stress. Take care to rest. Oh, what is this? Check the index and power of the Prime Minister. Health index means the current condition of the Prime Minister. Too much mental stress and use of power lead to the deduction of health index. Mental stress means mental stress of the Prime Minister. Every time the mental stress index reaches 3, he'll lead to deduct 1 health point. When the health index is 0, he loses all his heart. The Prime Minister will be forced to go on sick leave for 3 months, according to the Chairman Mao. Won't, during sick leave, Prime Minister won't attend the work of the CPGAC. So one health index every two months after attending uh, daily affairs. The Prime Minister and Director can't work at the same time. The CPGAC will shut down for 30 months. During this time, we can't do anything about it. Please urge caution. Interesting. And Secretary, Deng Xiaoping, uh, Director of Government Affairs Committee. Director is the core of the CPGAC, the Central People's Government Affairs Committee. Secretary responsible for coordinating and unifying the opinions of all factions within the Central People's Government Affairs Committee. Director can coordinate and communicate with the fringe faction to raise support and direct... Uh, Support rate of the current major issues. Look here, doctor. Tolerance, huh? Tolerance is the current means current Mao's tolerance to the director. Too many prestige index and use power to lose the deduction of the tolerance index. Power. Oh. Oh, deliberate. Okay, so continue reading. Prestige index means the influence of the director among the deputies. Every time it reaches three, the leader one total tolerance index. So basically, it's the same sort of deal. So he's got power here, huh? 
Lobbying. The director will reach out to the Democratic parties and independents and have 70% chance of turning the opposition among them into support. If parties are both opposed, there's 70% chance that one of those parties will be randomly converted to support. Um, to deliberate on, deliberate on current major issues and directly reverse 10 negative votes on the current issue into positive votes. Oh, so what do you do here then? Extending the deadline for voting on current major issues by two, uh, 15 days. Voting immediately. Oh. Interact with these guys. Oh god. There's even more here. Cuss 5P to elevate this faction. Temporarily them. You can do this twice in total, each round in Congress. Huh. Pretty much everyone agrees with this except for the independents. So we have Mao's faction, we've got Liu's faction, we've got the Democratic faction, which doesn't do very much. And we still need to deal with the rebellion of the Malkleek. 90% support, interact with the Prime Minister, the Director. I'm sorry it taking so long to get to start with anything here. Independence. Hold on. Detail of votes. If the total added to the faction agrees, then the agree votes seem to wait. The total attitude of the faction disagree, then the agree votes. There's a formula for all this. All right. Interesting. So, the Central People's Government Affairs Committee is the supreme executive and legislative branch of our country. People from society can take part in the democratic decision making through the CPGAC. The a uh, committee is a platform of broad exchanging political views, but due to the function limited, at the time of vote, at the time of vote of major issue, they can only summarize total view according to the weight of each faction. Total view, we can get the final votes. The weight of each faction will be influenced by the popular prestige relationship with the PLA, positive comments within the CPC, influence on the CPC. So, current weight 70, 70, 40, 20. Disaster relief, increased growth, and hurt our Inflation. Uh, growth is actually this is where we're at right now. It's honestly not bad. Infl deficit's pretty bad, though. Liberate people's minds. I don't mind that more political power, honestly. Integration of industrial ministries. More growth. Increased liquid reserves. More inflation, though. Reduced investment budget. Less growth. Less inflation. Increased liquid reserves. Food price limit requisition. Decreased growth. Decreased inflation. Increase more debt. Get more stability. Restore trade with foreign regimes, increase inflation, get more stuff here. So, honestly, the best one to choose, it looks like, is integration of industrial ministries. Uh, more growth, uh, inflation will I increase by a little bit more, but more money. Why would we not want that? Our current proposal on the right side of the screen, you can see the detailed uh, select list of selected current major issue. On the right bottom of the screen, select other major issues and administrative decisions. Major issue and administrative decision are parallel. They can be done at the same time. So, so major and ordinary resolutions. Major issues is option system. will be an option list we can select a major issue. Um, there's adoption of this proposal. Influence the future of the CPC. And for many ways, think about it seriously before the options. Administrative decisions are also known as, I guess, ordinary resolutions. Uh, there'll be many uh, to decisions to lead to various effects. Some of them uh, need major issues and national focus to unlock them, and some effects may be strengthened. Please choose appropriate admin decision. To action depending on economic and conditions of the front. So when do we vote on this? So there's that. So let's see. So this one opens up this GUI. And then this one opens up this GUI. Got a lot of GUIs here. So. Um, also we have this one. Last thing before we keep going. We actually started the game. Even though we're 18 minutes in this video. Um, let's see, the uh, Central People's Government Affairs Committee is at the administrative institution of Northwest National Defense Front and the main tunnel of communication with a Democrat out of CPC. We implement the political solutions of the government through democratic consultation. The other rebellion, integration of industrial ministries, current rate, 90%. Cool. I just don't know when they vote, though. But let's get started with this war, shall we? Oh, we can launch a new focus? Oh, god dang it. I don't need more than 20 pp. At the edge of the cliff, Northwest National Defense Front, China's last free land, the spiritual home of the countless anti-Japanese aspirants, 
The thorn in the side of the Galazong Wu and the thorn in the side of the Japanese is now facing a rebellion big enough to be buried in the Northwest. Yan'an has started the emergency votes process and the CPGAC at the moment the hall is crowded right in front of the podium Mao Zedong, Liu Xiaoqi, Zhao and Lin are the comrades of the party's central committee to stone face, exchanging words with each other to pass on what information in the moment. Liu Xiaoqi, suit of included throughout comrades, friends, now begins emergency meeting in the CPGAC on the Northwest National Defense Front on the disposal of the rebellion of the Maklik. Hoping you hang on to this cliff. It'll activate the detail panels of the committee and introduce the first act to deal with the rebellion. Cool. Oh, well, we've already done this, so. So, when can we vote? Oh, okay. there we go. I just have to scroll down a little more. So. Um. Focus on Xi Kong. Yeah. So, voting will happen in five days, completing admin decisions. That'd be great to do. Also, I guess there's a customized difficulty settings. Uh, we're probably not going to do that, so, assisted bugs. I want the normal type of playthrough, so. So, there's no major issue selected. Appointment and removal of party ref committee reform. Mongolian military plans. Isn't Zendenbal revolutionary? Why do we have to use the forces against Mongolia? It's not good for the two PLACs to be at peace with, peace with each other. Deputy C. Zendenbal isn't revolutionary. He's anti China and Mongolian independence. Japanese just like Prince Dem Chub Dong Grub. That's why they included a Zend Zendenbal to grow up. Zendenbal is a Japanese lap dog. No, he is a Russian puppet. Well, they have Vasilevsky. As for what, wouldn't it be better to send a diplomat to find out? Alright, I do not talk to you more. The Central Committee must have their ideas. Do you think about being a subject to which is convenient for own people to take charge? Own people? What do you mean? Han people. I'm a Mongolian. Huh. Um. Yeah, I know. Alliance with them? Well, now we got our focus is unlocked. Working with Wu Lanfu, or the Mara Rebellion. The Inner Mongolian People's Revolutionary Party has been under the nationalist uh, government since the 1920s. They have continued to resist the tyranny of their colonial rule even when the Japanese installed the puppet Mongolian border. A few days ago, they were under the fierce siege by Prince Dem Chug Dong Grub's army. Because of moral obligation, we had to support these revolutionary struggle in the Mongolian people, and sure that there must be a place for us in the inner and outer Mongolian Revolution. And then the Mara Rebellion. In the 50s, uh, because of our party's radical initiatives, the United Front fell apart, and the various cliques went their separate ways, bringing severe diplomatic isolation to the base areas, and making the war resurface. I don't know which way do we want to go with these guys. There's Inner Mongolia. Wu Lan Fu, member of the United Front. We have a higher degree of independence decision making power. So we need influence member. We're Bolsheviks, huh? Study new war tactics. Stabilize society. I like the stability. Hey, more attack and defense would be pretty good too. Oh, this would be very good to get. Pioneer companies. Division organization is very good too, though. This is also very good. They're all very good. So, recapture Mongolia. Party agrees on Mongolia reclamation. That would make the already fraught ethnic relations between China and Mongolia even worse. If we force against Mongolia, we had best make the requisite preparations. Later, Ulaanbaatar. Ransack the farm. Huh. United wants more. What's this one on the right side say? The Brotherhood. Santa Forces Hooves becomes Inner Mongolia becomes free zone in the Northwest National Defense Front. 
The Communist Party would now be called Party Committee of the Communist Party of China's Mongolian Autonomous Region. The victory of the revolution in Mongolia, Marshal Vasilevsky and soldiers will leave West Mongolia, binding the fragment of Russia, but the future fate of Russia would not be none of our business. Incorporate troops. The of cadres, the Bayan Alliance. We annex them? Interesting. Liquidation of Puppet Mongolia. 37 Trader. Japanese of Mongolia. Satisfaction of all. Start to exchange. Join the military exercises. Situation changed. Case of Inter-Mongolia People's Party. Versus Center 1. Sino Mongolian United. Turn the step. Welcoming the martyr, huh? Register interchange. The Russians. The vi Victory Revolution of Mongolia. Marshal Vasilevsky and soldiers leave West Mongolia. Huh. Collaborators. Inner agenda of Inner Mongolia. Consult Olanu. Conference of Unity. I kind of want to recapture it. I really want to recapture it. Setting new war tactics. Or we could do intensify rifle production rate. Fire up the boiler, uh, burn red charcoal fire, and the arsenal will begin to work again. Sand 1. Uh, the yellow sand is rolling, the sun is shining, the wind is like a knife, and it's bitterly cold. Gao Gong is wearing a red man and a horse, standing all alone under the sky, silently watching the soldiers packing their luggage in the distance, as if they were out of the picture. It's been a month since he left the Chairman Mao, and his unkempt chin has sprouted a curved beard that makes him even look like more crude and unscrupulous. Uh, not knowing whether this represents catharsis or self-destruction. Guards Wang Jinping and Li Waizi, hand in hand reigns, leading a water cart leisurely but parallel together. They just returned from the river to get water. Seeing alone the figure of Gao Gong, Li Waizi cannot help but sigh. Chairman Gao used to be thunderous, but now to become but now how to become like this. Seeing Chairman like this, I feel suffocated. Wang Jinping knew what the reason was and could only tell in a low voice, don't let the chief hear this. The two stopped talking and walked behind Gao Gong. Li Yz stepped in first and greeted, Chairman, we're back from fetching water. How much did you fetch? Gao Gong's mood did not have any ups and downs, so he only cared about one number. More than 200 pounds. Gao Gong used his whip to convey, or point vaguely ahead, letting Li Yz bring the water cart back to the team, ergo calling out to them, Don't call me Chairman in my face, I'm not anymore. Yes, hi, hi, political commissar. Li Yz's two legs clamped over his stomach. Fast, fast-paced ride at the end of the train, the water car cable off the road to the soldiers, loudly commanded, The water car tied up, tied up, and we pack up after on the road. Soldiers got busy and busy carrying large bags to and fro, and settling in their positions, but under the sky of hell, high hillock, the silence remained. Only Wang Jinpeng stood quietly guarding the surrounding area. Slowly Wang Jin he looked at the north east dusty two fast sources came straight to the caravan. Through the binoculars they saw a distant visitor and could not help but excitedly shout, It's Secretary Xi. Next page. Hearing this name, his name. Uh, Gal, oh, that, the name Gal Gong, as if electrocuted ex with excitement and doubt surged to his heart, he immediately turned to the horses ahead, ahead to meet the rush up a distant vault of heaven. The two embraced each other tightly. Gal Gong's questions, like a series of artillery spit out, or uh, spit out like a piece of artillery, he was eager to know his dear friend after the devolution of the situation. Your punishment was lifted, freedom to move around, who helped you make the guarantee? It was Deng Xiaoping, Xi Zhong Zhong, uh, replied calmly. Gao Gong's expression froze, their heart like overturning the spice jar, sour, bitter, ease, salty brain gushing out. The face of the smile slowly faded, first puzzled, followed by anger. Anger only after loss, only because Deng Xiaoping's hand stretched too long. Also, he sent me a letter. Said you out of Jingbian to Mongolia, let me come and descend to you. See you. Xi Zhong Zhong explained, while pulling out two bottles of wine from the saddlebags. This is our uh, Mexican brewery brewed special cue. To the other side, you drink with it, but don't forget us. Obviously, Gao Gong is still immersed in his oblivious contemplation without any expression until Ji Zong Zun puts the wine into his hands. His scattered vision gradually co becomes more cohesive. Are you now back to work? I'm now the director of the Maixian Distillery. The days are more leisurely than during the Great Leap Forward. Deng Xiaoping also talked to me about the problems of returning to the central government, and he said that Chairman Mao is now in a difficult situation. Not only had to vindicate his comrades who were criticized in the past, but also not overturn the case. It was very difficult to do. It's all my fault. Unintentionally whining and letting... Gao Gang into deep self-reproach, uh, lowering his head for a long time without saying a word, will be in the hands of a bottle of the wine uh, non-stop, all of the embarrassment nowhere to hide. 
Zi Zong Zun, of course, understands Gao Gong's heart, comforting him to not let down Chairman Mao's last trust, but all the energy into the Mongolian Revolution as long as the results of the work to redeem the crime, which can be overcome. Uh, Gale grabbed a handful of yellow sand that had been sprinkled to the distant earth and washed away the respective sadness. Zi Zong Zun once again opened his solid arms and embraced Gao Gong, full of expectations, and said his blessing, I only hope for a speedy triumph. I don't know. Appointment removal party committee informs. What is this? After passing this act, a party will appoint and remove party committees by adopting local recommendations and unlock national focus. Party committee con recommended by local government. Designate local party committees. We can appoint and dismiss the local party uh, committee by directly appointing the local leadership team and unlocking national designated local party committees. We've gone through the toughest period. Uh, building local governments. Not core map, but more construction speed. Construction core, form of organizational management that falls between complete military control and civilian governance. Series that both promote production and construction as well as strength and national defense. Considering that it's difficult to quickly establish effective governing units in remote areas where ethnic minorities reside, CISA becomes a convenient choice. If I can efficiently execute instructions issued by the central government, I promptly handle various emergencies, thus relieving the burden on the central government. Or we recommended. Local elections, less political power, more admin efficiency gain. That's really good, actually. I kind of prefer... I think we'll go with this one, even though I like this one more. Redemption land. Worst of consumer goods. Probably gets worse. Force reform. Hmm. Ineffectual remedy. Remove overly suspicious, huh? Tight hug. Deny Allah. Oh, God. Political practicality. So the influence in the CPC of Mao's faction has been increased one stack in the, C in the CPGAC. Political honesty. So. Mm -hmm. Reformed. I like how we lowered this, but didn't do anything about Dang's faction. Uh, so after this one, let's just go with the material control. Uh, expertise, I do want that one, but it's new war tactics. After the Great War, the entire continent fell into recession, and the base was struggling. Poverty and the prolonged war preparations caused unstoppable drama to people. In addition, the armament and tactics are out of date and are also gradually being abandoned. The party central committee. I was worried about sending a response to the war now. I hope it's not too late for us to get to sharpen our guns. Do we make an encirclement here? How many divisions I got? Up to eight. We have nine. It's about rapid production, starting to war tactics. Well. Are you over there yet? Come on, there you go. That's how they all want to move out. Uh, let's see. Train the cavalrymen, which I do want to use cavalry as much as possible, so. Cavalry, temporarily trained units, were confused in their fighting methods and were destroyed at first touch. We can always uh, seek training by war, train while fighting, and select the best from the best. I'll flank the enemy. In a rear mobile arm, cavalry is not the main troop, but if used correctly, you can also surprise and win. Probably a bad idea to this now. Oh, we need to build a part down. Uh, what is this? A letter. Gu Ji Gong wore a head full of white hair and lay in a popular wood rocking chair swaying, kept in, keeping his cane in his hand. Zhu Longguang sat at the sofa behind the coffee table who lit the oil lamp emitting a dull yellow light yeah, heat, illuminating the room in the faces of the guests. In the direction of the house door stood the shrewd, plump, short man with a straight back and a smile on his face. Zhu uh, Longguang recognized him as Deng Xiaoping from the United Front Work Department and hurried to invite him to sit down. Mr. Deng suddenly came to stay in my house. I wonder what he has to say. Jimmy Mao asked me to come and see you two. 
Dang Jopping asked his guards to put the gifts on the tea table and move the soybean oil lamp to prevent the lamp from burning the carefully woven red ribbon. A little good tea, a little good cigarette, not a token of respect. Yu Longguang got up to hold the gift. Xiao Ping pushed. The package is not large, and inside was a hard pastry-like touch, and a square box from the thread weave seems seeping out of the rich aroma of a roasted tobacco. He immediately recognizes this big leader to send what a heavy gift. Pu Er Tea and Cloud Leaves. Gu Zhigong saw the blue cloth package on the table, cleared his throat, and said, Mr. Dang, don't worry. As long as the central government needs us to do something, we'll do our best. Uh, Zhu Longguang turned his words around and said, But if you don't make it clear what this mission is, we can't accept, accept such a valuable gift without receiving any reward. After saying that, he pushed the gift back again. Two of you are not ordinary people among Democrats, especially Mr. Gu Zhigong. With highly respect, there's so many things we'll have to wait once you speak. Now that the Party Central Committee is in difficulty, I'd like to ask you to support the Party Central Committee and put him down the rebellion at tomorrow's conference. Deng Xiaoping took out several sheets of beige horizontal grid paper filled with dense italicized characters. What should be said is on here. I hope Mr. Zhu and Mr. Gu can understand the difficulties of the Central Committee. Gu and Zhu looked at each other face to face. Each understood and solemnly agreed to Deng Xiaoping's request, but they solidly resigned not to accept the gift and sent, sent to them. Zhu Guang Longguang picked up the package with both hands and wanted to stuff it back into the arms of the little guard, who dodged far away and did not dare to take it, nor uh, Deng Xiaoping forced down and watched to accept the look before, heavy, he, he, before leaving hastily. Carrying a considerable amount of parcels, Zhu Longguang did not rush to open. The original seal put into the inner storage room, which also made stored many condolences, tables, chairs, boxes, and cabinets, carved wood and jade pendants, wine made by mineral water, walnuts and almonds, and this time added with a tea and dry tobacco. Uh, Zhu Longguang walked, walked out of the house, feeling both funny and a little bitter. Uh, every time it's the same, pretend it not be heard. Uh, if there's no hard change back to teeth, why let Ma's army as an excuse? Say so much for what, what to do, what to do. Gu Ji pulled the blanket upwards to cover the, the cold legs. Tomorrow's speech on you to go. I can't walk. Well, you probably go on you alone. The kiln was quiet. Only the old rocking chair underneath Gu Ji gong was still creaking, creaking heavily. Live in each other's homes and you have to obey order. That's about right. All right. So where are we at now? I like to go here, but they have a lot of cavalry going that direction. We go. Oh, that's a lake. Um, and I'll see, I'll see what happens down here first, because we have all divisions on the line, which is good. Let's go. God, get it. No political power. It's terrible. Nothing to say. The parlor that the mall clique had arranged for the Chinese comes on with had never been clean. The stench of stale smoke that filled the room smoked Tan Zilan and looked at the black and tar on the walls made him re wretch. Ma Guangjila uh, stood by the window trying to get some air, the cold, bitter cold wind making him wrap his leather jacket tightly around him. Dalton Jing tried to make himself forget the stench in the room, staring intently at the leisurely peanut soaked da of Ma Dunhu, the so called cousin who had been responsible for receiving Dalton Jing's delegation for the sixth time and had indicated that Ma Bu Kong was drunk again and told the three of them to wait to sober up. The good bit actually had us had a preparatory plan in advance, which would become a reality of this attempt to rope Ma Bu Kong into joining this counterinsurgency team failed. But it was too risky and no one was willing to go that far at the moment, and Dalton Jing still wanted to use opportunity persuasion to persuade this cousin in front of him. In the famine of the year uh, before last, Zhang province. Oops, my apologies. Oh god, dang it! It's oh, oh, look at this. Shangxi uh, province uh, preferred to have started off to put full, to pull food out to help Ningjia. The people's government did not treat our family poorly, so I won't treat your family poorly. You also think more about your hometown. Why do you keep dragging your feet and not letting your old uncle see us? I was listening to this consul's high opinion. Ma Dunhong repeatedly laughed. So lecturing to me, tell your truth. It is useless to. Look to me to talk. Hey, Zhu is our whole hold home, and there are so many uncles and grandfathers living, I do, alone do not count. Ma Guang A could not help it, and asked angrily, Is this how you accept the central leadership? Yeah, what the heck? Rushing at Ma uh, Guang Yi, Ma Dun, Dun Hao was not al kind. Seeing the scene. Tan Zilan did not say a word, as still quietly scrutinizing the tar on the wall thoughtfully, sitting on the guards outside the door to inform the chairman of the arrival of Ma. Once the Ma Bu Kong was told to the carried into the house by two servants. Eyelids cannot be opened. The mouth issued a confused, whimpering sound. The head of the beard is shaking to and fro. Arms, legs, like spoiled spaghetti. A little strength cannot make it out. Looking at him like this, completely drunk out of his mind, he cannot speak a word. After Ma Bu Kong came in, Ma Dun Hao invited the CPC delegation. They come and make demands on his old uncle as if he were watching. What's the point of mentioning it when it's all, when it's all like this? Tan Zilan said back to Ma Du Hu. Dun Hao, with the same lack of humor, let Chairman Ma have a good night's rest and we'll take her leave. Without saying, without shaking a hand, Tan Jilan qu walked quietly, uh, quickly around Ma Bukong's side. Seeing this, Dalton Jing and Ma Guang aide uh, wanted to stay for a bit longer, but looking at the old Tan's back that was quickly walking away, they could only chase after him. 
The three had just walked to the entrance of the building when they heard the sound of vomiting beyond, booming behind them. This farewell sound, very harsh, very disgusting. Well, I'll hold it for six days by this retarded drunk. Nice. The Tornado Company. Through screening, we finally worked out a cavalry unit that can still fight, but this unique period of practice cannot be confused, but must be another long-term plan. I would like to stabilize society, too, though. But I want all these military professionals and things as much as possible first. Reiterate the three principles. The three principles and eight attention. Uh, rules were actually very simple requirements, but our soldiers are not all saints. <laughs> of course not. They have their own families to take care of, and if the army cannot provide for them, the soldiers will have to find another way to make a living, such as taking some property for some civilians, whether they are farmers or wealthy landowners. Repeated warrants can only have temporary effects and cannot control behavior in the long term, of course. Alright, so where are they at now? We're still fighting down here, which is fine, whatever. Um... What do we got here? Oh, we can add it. Oh, awesome. Um, I want to uh, have Dang's faction give him special care. Oh, we're losing. Oh my god. The budget balance is killing us. Social expenditure is costing us so much. But it's giving us a lot of growth. Because this gusts us a lot of political power. Hmm. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Hmm. Hey, look at that. Nice. We're going to spend a lot of money here. And that's that's more balanced, but it's still not good. It's not very good at all. Uh, can you guys go here? Oh, that's where they're at. Okay. That makes sense. I don't want to spread out too much. But we're going to have to. And this tile is unacceptable, so... Closing in on him here will help prove to be a very, 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 very good thing. Do you have anything here you can do the martial aggressive assaulter? Yeah. Okay, why not? Be aggressive. Nothing to say. Ah, oh, Mabu Kong lay unconscious across the bed. Several underlings skillfully died it. Uh, decorated pots of medicine ready to detoxify their lord. Outside the bedroom, Ma Bu Yang, who had traveled from Qinghai, impatiently asked Ma Dun Hu to make a statement in support of the Ma family's army rebellion. Whether it's war or peace, we have a definite, have a definite word. You are not to blame for the loss of Lang Zhu, and it is not too late to rise up with Zhi Yang. When the communist army their doorsteps, we do not dare act rationally. If we really want them to rush into Heizhou and arrest us all, our Ma family won't be able to keep any of our family business. Why are you so slow? Can't you see that your brother and your son have been whisked away from Lao Tzu to Xinghai by the communists? It's a matter of life and death, and you just can't figure it out. It's none of my business if my brother ran away. Did he help me when I was driven to Heizhou by my father? It was all up to me to put down the roots here. Now let me go back to help him. I don't have time. Then I'll show you the cards. Ma Bo Yang turned around in the room a few times, and after much deliberation, he still holds him what he had achieved. Your men are smarter than you. They all understand that they can't live if they don't fight the communists, so they all listen to the order of the Qinghai. You! My nephew, just stay with your old uncle. It's, it's time for me to get down to business. What a family relation. Um, turn in the seized weapons. Strictly register the soldier's loot, filling the record roll with detailed information on the place and time of seizure and guarantee. It is a foul and unclaimed item. It needs to be listed separately. Approve the prize and pay to the prize so the owner comes to claim it later. And then the Tornado Company. Through screening, we finally worked out a cavalry unit that can still fight. This unique period of practice cannot be continued, but it must be another long term plan. Uh, yeah, we need this one. Or those who kill the enemy. Blank checks will only drag down the military discipline, so put aside false promises. Treat soldiers as ordinary people. We need to feed the families and enforce the military reward and punishment system thoroughly. Anyone who kills one enemy can be reported centrally by the establishment and receive a reward of varying amounts. Movie experience. The bitter cold wind blew over the Ansai Kiln factory, dispersing the steam coming out of the chimney and stars in the sky and like usual. The plan was still crowded and warm on New Year's Day, and more than 100 kiln workers sat in front of the big screen to watch a political propaganda film. Not surprisingly, the familiar face of Comrade Zhang, Side, who had died 18 years earlier, appeared in the film, and a standard fluent announcer's ro voice rose steeply with the picture. We come from all over the world and together come together for a common revolutionary goal. Today, the great glorious and correct CPC is leading a base area of 29 million people across the Northwest. But it's not enough. Uh, we have to walk the whole walk of the nation, whole nation on the socialist road to fight for the liberation of the whole nation. In front of the impassioned picture, the audience on stage looked a bit wooden, with any spiritual ups and downs. Some of them were talking to each other in twos and threes, and some of them were just asking for, for their tea with their buddies next to them. And as the sound of the film became louder and louder, the sound of talking in the audience also gradually increased, and even the sound of hey, laughter appeared. 
Zhao Da Hai, watch the news properly. Do not sm uh, a small talk. Outside the crowd, the sudden sound of the plan director's thick, rough voice, chattering whispers only gradually quieted. The film was 40 minutes long and ends at 9 p.m. When the curtain went up, a big light instantly illuminated the whole factory building. Shaking people's eyes, they could only sit in place. Uh, but at this point, the workers could not leave because they had to listen to the plant manager's final closing remarks. And the plant manager had already picked up the script and stepped on the podium. Stay for a while and I'll say a few words and we'll break it up. Moonlight. The political failures of the past three years have left Mal weathered and disoriented, and at night he stands in the courtyard staring up at the incomprehensible moon in the sky, secretly ch grinned. Liu Xiaoqi became independent. Gao Gong was exiled by his hand, and even Dang Xiaoping is uncertain, since the rectification since the establishment of the revolutionary team had not suffered such a major setback, pulling up a piece of heartache. The president isn't eating yet, the food is getting cold, Zhang Qing secretary Zhao Sui in the room could not stop whining. Every day I go to the meal, and after playing and not eat on time, cold and then hot. After whining, Sui suddenly realizes that sitting in front of him is Zhang Qing. The director of Zhang's eyes do not rub sand, certainly wants to criticize himself. However, Zhang Qing, in contrast to her unusual, harsh, and mean attitude, reasoned with her. The president is too tired, so you should relax. If you are hungry, go and eat first. You don't have to stare here. Sui's heart was in her throat. She doubtfully picked up the lunchbox, but did not dare to move half a step, two eyes fixed on Zhang Qing's smiling face. Zhang Qing waved his hand to drive her away, only to hold the lunchbox, then flee out of the, stuff in the study in a puff of smoke. After uh, Sui left, Zhang Qing was fidgety. A big thing is pressing on her heart. Do not know how to start or better eat first. Comrade Chairman, the food is getting cold. Come over and eat. Uh, Mao Zedong slowly put down the shelf, leaving the moon. Followed Zhang Qing's greeting in the study, very consciously sitting in front of the rice bowl. Support, chop stick, ch support chopsticks. And a mouthful of cucumber resting in her mouth. Zhang Qing stood by the door silently and during the idol's indifference, Sui's whining echoed over and over again. And finally, her patience bought him out, determined to confide in her heart. You don't have to say a word to me, but I understand it all in my heart. Mao Zedong could not understand who's bra those brainless words, like an old cow ruminate, ruminate uh, chewing slowly, chewing vegetables, a strong wine to kill the bitterness. Liu Xiaoqi is about to turn the base area upside down, and you haven't shown any signs at all. Mao Zedong swallowed his mouthful of rice, feeling only astonished. This was the first time he heard Zhang Qing judging the center. What do you want? You've been covering your ears for the past two weeks, not caring a bit about what's going on outside. I look for a cow uh, King Lao and Zhu and La to ask about the situation. And realized that you also followed Ben Biao's, Lin Biao's example and did not go to the meeting. Mao Zedong listened to the Jing, uh, Zhang Qing's words in the clouds, and his whole body came to a standstill, sitting in place, waiting for Zhang Qing to continue his long speech. I've been married to you for more than 20 years, and we agreed that you wouldn't be allowed to take up positions for 20 years, and now four years have passed since then. And on the other hand, who knows how to work with you better than I do, compared to the people sitting in the synagogue? Who can be as reliable as me? Zhang Qing walked from the doorway to the desk and sat down, thoughtlessly giving the chairman a mouthful of food, and then spoke out his own request. I just want you to have more helpers around you, and I'm really afraid that you won't be able to hold on and then just throw up your hands like this. If you don't think you're for me, think for your daughter too. Mao's brain was running at high speed. He surprisingly could not find his position for a moment. His wife's participation in politics was really a tempting decision, and he hesitated before the option of refusal. And Zhang Qing in front of the dinner table was becoming more and more crystalline like the dazzling bright moon. After five minutes of thinking, Mao Zedong loosened up, start with small things first. Moonlight was getting a bit harsh. I was just trying to fight here. God dang it. Honestly, let's get this towel too. Cold wind. Can you actually take this towel? We might be able to. The sunny morning, the cold wind blew away the sleeplessness of people at Hangzhou Railway Station. And a carriage, two square table, spilled to the conference table. Covered with a clean and painted white tablecloth in which there were 15 sets of spring tea bubble chin uh, ling green tea jars bursting with vapor. Three white porcelain ashtrays lined up in order according to the symmetrical position, only the jar near the main seat with ashes and four or five cigarette butts. Different from the other seats in front of the main seat, also placed this packet, has smoked half a pack of Baoji cigarette pa factory paper cigarettes. Mao Zedong is meeting here with various officials of the Shangxi province in time this time to cross over the central government to directly convey his instructions to the local government, and two rows of heads looked in unison at Mao's furrowed face. I've spoken several times of this meeting of the central government, and today I must remind you guys. Mao Zedong looked at the crowd sitting upright and lit a cigarette. Do not engage in revisionism, but Marx in Marxism-Leninism. What country is still waiting for us to liberate, and if we ourselves first change our minds, how can there be any hope of liberation? The people nodded their heads, deeply convinced. Now the base there will have to tide over the difficulties again. The difficulties in the war do not need to worry about, but the production and construction can't without your efforts. Still, the same words must be united, do not split. That's all for today. You guys get off. No need to see me off. Mao Zedong inhaled a cigarette and pointed to the guard on the carriage. Here is it. He is packing things. You do not need to send someone to follow me. The crowd said, Chairman, goodbye. Fish out of the carriage. The sound of the people slowly dispersed. The surrounding area returned to quiet, only the whistle whined low. Mao Zedong stared at the tea, and spotless ashtrays crushed out the cigarette butts, hopelessly muttered to himself, Everyone hopes I leave early. Smoke one more. That's all we do here. Nothing to say. 
Nights in the barracks had always been quietest and safest, especially for those who didn't have to stand on guard duty. The battalion commander announced the order to start moving towards Jinghai in three days. The soldiers were exhausted after a day of packing and returned to the dormitory to fall asleep. There was no bedtime chit chat, and in less than ten minutes, the dormitory was snoringly loud. That was no exception except for Da Quan. I don't know how long I slept, but the quiet was suddenly broken. The rattling limp lit lamp woke up Da Quan, and his sleepy eyes fuzzy. A bright bayonet was suddenly placed in front of his eyes, which made him wake up with a jolt, and he shouted, Who's there? Just as he shouted out, the butt of a gun came down like a hammer, and Da Quan fell half to death as he dropped out of bed to avoid it. Da Mu crouched down. Uh, lying on the ground, Da Quan held his head and looked to the side. Behind the two thirty-eight Dagas were the other people in the dormitory, all of them squatting on the ground, with their hands on their heads, and the squad leader was gagged and tied to the bed. It was already completely dazed, his brain spinning rapidly, thinking about what was going on here. What are you looking at? Three Type 38 rifles. What are you babbling about? You're holding it in your hand. This is made by ourselves, not Type 38 rifle. At this time, the sound of ad admonition came from outside the door. I'm sorry for the brothers of the National Army. We'll let you suffer. We are the People's Liberation Army. Your officers didn't want to cooperate and uh, wanted to collude with traitors to eliminate us, so we had no choice but to strike early. We're not going to go and argue with your officers, so all of you can just commun commensurate for a few days. Lock it up. Okay, I know, I know. North Gunster Special Zone, huh? Oh, these guys up here. Oh. Why was it they capitulate? Yeah, we're doing pretty well with them, guys. Turn them in. Tornado Company. Cool, I'm looking at maybe Hirish. I'm gonna go Hirish. Let's circle that horse division. Pendulum Clock. Liu Xiaoqi. I called a meeting of the Central Committee, but not by Jiang Qing, who is now sitting outside the conference room. However, Jiang Qing is not here. For the meeting, she has a plan to make a good career for her daughter. Li Ni's university career is coming to an end, and she should immediately look for a job, internship, and the work unit needs a letter of recommendation before interviewing. Although Jiang Jing was the wife of Mao Zedong, she cannot write a letter of recommendation for her daughter, uh, let alone Mao Zedong do it. So she hoped to get Liu uh, Xiaoqi's help in obtaining this fateful letter. She approached Ma Xun, Xu Lun before this, but the old man was completely unfavorable. The speeches in the conference room went on and on, and the clock hanging on the wall kept ticking. Hands went from 10 to 11, and staring at the pendulum swinging from side to side for an hour made Jing, Zhang Qing dizzy. The feeling that the town was constantly running out made her a little impatient, but she had to remain reverent and wait for the meeting to end. If you want to dismiss me, just say so. What's the rush to pull a white face? I'm happy to be scolded by you. I'm still quitting. Before the words fell, the conference room door was open with a bang, just like a thunder. Long Dong District Deputy Secretary Zhang Ji Cheng stumbled out of the door, rushed to the opposite side of the whitewashed wall, and shouted, suffocated me. Zhang Qing. Does not care for this comical scene. An 11 o'clock chime sounds stirring accompaniment. Zhang Zhisheng runs out of the corridor as if no one else. The first half of the day's meeting was over, and most of the comrades of the local committee who came to Xi'an for the meeting rested where they were. So I'm going to the toilet in twos and threes. The central leaders, on the other hand, had to go to the do next door for an impromptu meeting to discuss plans for the second half of the session. Liu Xiaoqi and Bo Yibo retreated out after one another, not at all happy. Zhang Jing stood up from his chair and patted his aunt's leg, gave himself a pep dog, stepped out to find his way up. Comrade Xiao Qi, there's something I want to talk to you about. Our Li Ni is not going to graduate from university. I wanted to go to the central hospital for an internship, so I want to ask you to help Li Ni write a letter of recommendation. The sudden appearances of Zhang Qing interrupted Liu Xiao Qi's thoughts in the meeting, and he froze at once. But the hesitation quickly dis dissipated. He turned a corner in his head and, without hesitation, refused to write a letter. This is something uh, you look for, Xiao and Lai. I'm busy here. Don't you often look for him? Uh, this way, uh, he's in the back. Liu Xiao Qi put down the sense and left Zhang Qing a smoke away. Bo Yibo did not say anything, just slightly owned his body and then quietly fo closely followed. Uh, the pendulum has no mercy and carries time ever onward. Mm, yeah. Who are those who kill the enemy? Yeah. Because I want that military professionalism. And industrial expertise too, but. Who are those who charge first? Anyone who dares to be the first in charge should be also honored, but someone must prove it. I also want to stabilize society. That's important too. Right in your company, we group we group veterans with long with long lots of experience on the battlefield into a company of a platoon, turning them into a sharp knife to pierce into the enemy's defensive line. Chips. Five people sat around in the parlor, and they were the heads of the five major districts of the base area. Fen Lin Feng, deputy secretary of the Ningxia district. Zheng Zhishang, secretary of the northern Shangxi district. Zhu Lin, Deputy Secretary of the Southern Shangxi District, 
Tanzang Secretary of the Guangzhou District and Gao Jianjun, Deputy Secretary of the Longdong District. These five men came in response to the summons and waited to be received by the central leadership, Mao Zedong. Uh, did not show up as they expected and waited for a long time to see the Sullen Liu Xiaoqi, Vice Chairman. He was seeing, slamming a stack of file folders heavily on the coffee table and glaring fiercely at the five men in the room, Bo, Bo Yi Bo. Uh, followed closely behind as he entered, his pointed his finger at one of the five and ordered Zhu Lin stand up. Hearing the summons, Zhu Lin winced and rose trembling from the sofa, not daring to look Liu Xiaoqi in, his, in the eye at this point. Liu Xiaoqi and Bo Yibo began their match. Chairman Mao read your ear and summary from Sha Nan. Do you know what the chairman said? The chairman said, how did you new 4th army set net out such, I won't say more. Listen, the chairman even scolded me in. I've been the general, in, the general administrator for the new 4th army. Look at the good results you've done. Take a close look. Famine deaths in addition to Long Dong and Shanan. It's a close pursuit. The cadre is out of the 4th New Army, always lawless, I've learned during the war. Far away from Zhang Ying, not to mention. Yesterday in Zhang and Zhisheng. In front of so many central leaders, yelling and screaming as a witness. This is how you deal with the central committee? Zhang Desheng said a word against you, and you joined forces with your accomplices to take away his power and froze to make this official secretary die of anger. You guys are really capable of doing it. Pen Zhang also died in your hands. Look, local cadres, every one of them should be beheaded. With his words, Liu Xiaoqi unwrapped the file bag on the southern Shangxi district, yanked out the documents inside, and flung them onto Zhao Lin as he waited for the other party to respond. As of now, all the reports of the collapse caused by the Great Leap Forward were in Liu Xiaoqi's possession, and these black uh, materials, like bargaining chips, were helping them attack at the local level. Under their one-two punch, uh, Zhao Lin became a land of the slaughter, and standing obediently and sniveling in place. The moment he was hit by the document, his blood pressure was so high that he almost fainted on the spot. Perhaps this is a charm of the things will be reversed. The dishonorable political movement has become a stepping stone in Liu Xiaoqi's political career. Uh, the chips in his hands are all ready to come out, but he will not know how many tears lose other people. The center, center committee does not believe in tears. So, oh, nice. I still want to raise up Dang's faction. Maybe this is a bad idea, but I don't know. Nine percent. Hey, it's forty-three percent. Money, party budget, party members. Slowly going up. We like it. Nothing but extreme growth, please. Uh, Social General Labor Union, Progressivism, Wang Kulun, Shinguru. Now we're barely in March. Not great, but not bad. Oh, oh look at that. Hey, that helped quite a bit. Fantastic. So now this is what we want to do this. Here, no. I want you to be aggressive. Oh, what is this? People's, ah. So I did do a party committee recommended by the local government. That seems more democratic overall. Oh, oh, we got that done. Nice. Um, disaster relief. Honestly, I don't. I like the polit any political power. That's actually very helpful. Uh, this is just so good. It's so good though. More growth, less, and we get more inflation, which sucks. But 0.25 is insane. Do we need, you know what, let's do, we're gonna do this one first, just so we can get raise our growth rate too. So, award those who kill the enemy, of course. Not those who charge first, yes, please. And as you're doing that. Letter from Xinjiang. Dear comrades in Xianan, after I graduated and back to Xinjiang, Stuck by Shang Shikai's affairs, there is no chance to talk about the revolution with Mao, Zhu, and the defeat in Xinjiang Jia. All blame me. I'm deeply sorry about that. Uh, luckily, the North Xinjiang Revolution occurred and forced Shang to stay in Dehua. I took the chance to go to South Xinjiang in day and night, assemble my old troops, and seek the time to attack. However, what a barren land South Xinjiang is. Recruits, uh, there's no uh, good recruits. Hope the comrades in Jianan can help me. Hope to reach victory. Talking Dehua. Mao Zongying wrote in, 19, in January 25th, 1961, General Mao Zongying is a friend. The Communist Party of China, Xinjiang Bureau, is available. Oh. What is this? Oh my god. There's even more here. Oh man, this is going to be tough to understand. Remember and learn and whatnot, but. The Xinjiang Bureau now. What is this? Popular will on the base of 6%. Neutrality. Next month, because of the influence of General Ma, predicting you'll be in charge of popular will, Xinjiang will change by negative 0.9. Look how smiley. He's so, how, so happy. Look how smiley he is. So, Xinjiang, located in the hinterlands of Asia and Europe, is an inalienable part of China's territory. Due to this special uh, geographic location, Xinjiang has been a battleground for the interests of Eurasian countries since the 19th century. One of the 
Failure of the war resistance, the legitimacy of our old national government and gradually cracked, and various forces were eager to move. The first shot of overthrowing Shang Shikai's tyranny was fired up in the north, uh, Xinjiang Uprising, fostered by the former Soviet Union, which was followed by the division of the century t territory between communists, old warlords, and pan turkicists But the situation in Xinjiang remains treacherous. After Comrade Chen Tan Qi was brutally murdered by Shang Shikai in 1942, the party's organizational system in Xinjiang collapsed for a time until Comrades Zhang Yashou and Wu Ying. Uh, Ying Qi made tireless efforts to take over the bureau and reorganize the Xinjiang bureau. The only group we've had as influence uh, the situation in Xinjiang. Comrade Zhang Yashao died in 57. And the circumstances of his death are not known, but the situation in Xinjiang is now spiraling out of control and we are forced to focus our remaining energies on more important matters. War doesn't stop. We must be ready for anything before the next storm arrives. So, oh, shnikes. Whole town comps, the main United Front target. A political ally in Xinjiang, the opposition of internal politics forces below summarize the Congress of Soviets. Uh, the General Ma Association. The main task of the Xinjiang Bureau for a longer period of time in the future is to stabilize the situation in Hotan Kamp and minimize influence of the General Ma Association on internal decisions. And if the General Ma Association becomes too powerful, the CPC may face extreme difficulty situation in Xinjiang. So 55% support from the Congress, 45% support for the General Ma Association. Next month, it goes down a little bit more. Holy crap. When you select a focus card, other focus cards will be disabled until no one ends. Desert focus, three working ability, and unlock Hotan Camp. Agriculture focus. We have three ability points. Military focus, education focus, business focus, healthcare focus. So, Alright, so in the lower right portion of the screen, there are six focus cards. Industry, agriculture, military, education, business, and healthcare. Choose from. You can unlock the corresponding national focus for Hotan Camp to gain benefits. A sub-focus in the region, on the right side, there are a variety of focus policies that can be implemented. These focuses are called sub-focuses, and they only take effect in selected plots. And they are somewhat randomized, so it's important to note that sub-focuses can't be implemented in enemy-occupied air territories. Popular will, the people's eyes are discerning, and every move we make in Xinjiang is closely related to and seen by the local people and all ethnic groups. The people have their own judgment of our political actions, however, the base area is not an iron one inter internally, and the General Ma Association will have a long-standing dispute with the base area of communists. We'll make use of the Haishan Man Ma's clan's great popularity among the people to continually make trouble for a party's personal assignment to Xinjiang. It's only by controlling the influence of the General Ma Association and the Hatan Soviet that we can avoid tarnishing the image of the people that we have in their hearts. Workability. Despite being able to control the central authorities in exchange for some resource support, the Xinjiang's bureau's working capacity is still relatively limited, quantified as workability points. We're consumed by it for all types of actions. Each month, the Xinjiang Bureau automatically recovers one work ability point, but due to its size, the Xinjiang Bureau also has a work cap. So we have cap of three. Schnikes. Great vocational schools. 80% chance change of the will will go up. Or better industrial expertise. Oh wow. Joint oil. So we have only three, we have to choose one focus at a time. Joint oil and gas exploration. Ooh, agriculture. Send veterinarians. Veterinarians. Countering extremist mobs. Hotan Camp gets more stability. Influence of the General Ma Association will go down. That's pretty good. 2% chance of getting a prison. 1% chance of our admin, admin efficiency improves. Prepare for military bases. Enhancing teacher training. Recruiting local freshmen. Outlawing speculation. So, not bad. Oh, proving the sales network. That's not good. There's a lot of these healthcare integrated investments. Improving lifestyle habits. Raising agricultural indicators. Popular will go way down. Oh god. Raising industrial indicators. Oh, that's not good either. Um, I'm not really sure. I. Oh, so this is a GDP. Um. I think I might want to focus on one of these first. Military, education, healthcare. No, oh, we chose agriculture. So how long does this last? Oh, this tells you everything here. Oh my god. Also territory still. This is the Democratic Republic of the Xinjiang. Holy crap.
crap. Um, Pioneer Companies, yeah. Material Control. Cut off all supplies to Qinghai. Qinghai is barren and lacks our supplies, so let's see how uh, long they can last. Crashing and saving. The Southern Wars made it difficult for us to cope with such a large demand for orders for a while, so I'll make sure workers pack over time to complete the production target. Um, quantity over quality. Currently, weapons production is only required to ensure the quality. The quality can take a backseat, which is helpless. And stabilize society. It's time to break the of wartime system, tense up and unite the people, and convince them that the war is with a muck leak. What's the first step to prior the situation in China? Only victory could win the future of the base. So, I think we're going to end it there. I've spent a lot of time just reading, which is normal for Tino. But if you enjoyed the video, though, we've got a lot to do in this, this campaign. Please consider leaving a like. It helps me out a lot. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow. As uh, we'll see what we can do with uh, more of Mao Zedong in uh, his little party here. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.